again, if I just, I don't know, gone on YouTube, figured this stuff out, it looks like he's just adding more green. We are one step closer to it being the front plate. <laughs> Well, hello there. Hot on the heels of episode 12, here's episode 13. Now, on the last one, we kind of figured out that this test plate was not really a test plate, it's turning more into a real plate. Now we're gonna really push forward, figure out all the paint, and get the graphics done. Well, maybe. All right, let's go. All right, some small arrivals. A wee bit, oh, is it the right size? Ah, oh, balls. Let's see. Nope. Do you remember? Here we go. This is the spring which keeps the latch. Uh, only two of these. And um, for these these guys right here. Here we go. If I go to this guy here, these are four millimeters across, 30 millimeters long. Okay, these are slightly thinner than that. This is much stronger. This is much less stronger. Okay, but I'm sure we could um, do something with that. Anyway, there we go. So I've got two springs. To make them double the strength, he says, not even thinking if this is correct or not. If I put two springs together, like these, and just squish them together, does that double the strength? Oh, it is more strong. Solution. All right, that's good. And then the next thing that's coming is the uh, screen printing kit for this, which is going to arrive in a few days. So what I'm going to try tonight is, this is actually looking not bad. I still feel like I want to put one more coat on this, in this kind of weirdly greener area at the top there for some reason. It just looks more blotchy up there, right? And then, once I do that, I have got some varnish spray for this to give it just the look that it needs. There we go. Okay, one of the other, so, so this is my proper plate now. Now, this, it needs a few more coats, or it needs one more coat, it needs something good. But what I did was I took this um, guy right here and I, I kind of sanded it down and then that took off some of it, made it a bit more flush. Then I took the green side and really gave it a nice little scrub. And it's really brought it up a lot nicer. Um, it's not perfect and it's not the same as the very first one that I did over there. This one is just dramatically smoother, just immediately smoother. Um, so I don't really understand. I mean, it's actually quite a bit closer to that now. Look at that, I don't know if you can see that. It's difficult. Anyhow, take my word for it. This one is smooth. This one is not smooth. Um, so what I've got is, this is the full varnish, the full glossy varnish. And then this one here is the half satin. So what I want to do is now that this is closer to this one I treated with the full gloss. This one is treated with the, with the, this is not treated at all. I'm gonna put the, um, I'm gonna put the satin one on that and see what it looks like. This one doesn't look that reflective and it feels about right, but I wanna see the difference between this. Can you see that? No, I don't think so. Can I see it, but how about if I turn you towards this light here? Hey, stop. It, it, you can actually see the paint difference right there if you look closely. No, no, nothing. No, I don't think so. Take my word for it. This one's shiny. This one's dull. I need to. I need to see if I can put the um, semi-gloss satin one on this one and see what it feels like. Let's do it. And then you wait. All right. So that was a test. Let's just see what it's like. I'm only using up all this stuff, but I've got to learn. I'm now opting to go with a more artistic holding and moving around, because then I can see the reflections. If I'm doing this, I can actually see it like that. So that's what I'm going to do, like, you know, an idiot, but that's fine.
it looks like he's just adding more green. All right, so last night I used this one, which is the clear gloss, okay? And then tonight, as a test, I used the semi-satin gloss, but it's a different manufacturer. So what's very odd is that the clear gloss from last night, you won't be able to see this. You have to take my word for it. It's a trust game. And then the satin stuff from tonight look basically the same. So this is the clear gloss stuff, which looks kind of clear glossy, and the satin stuff looks literally identical. So what I'll probably do is treat this one with the satin. Okay, here, here's a, here's a country. Here's this, which although it needs a clean, which I can clearly see, um, this is that plate, and it's not matte whatsoever. It's very flat powder coated. This one is more of a, a bumpy surface to it, but in terms of its reflection, it is actually not a million miles away. So my little brain is going, hi, future Chris here. So it's at this point that I realized I made my CMI series 2X color and not series 3 color. Hmm. Oh, it's so smooth. My God, that's so rough. I feel like I need to do this down a bit more or something. Yeah, it's so rough in comparison. This is so smooth. Okay. Well, my brain is kind of going towards, do I make this glossy? Well, do I put the satin on it? Because the satin would make it more like that, which is too shiny. <sighs> I'm stuck in a real quandary. This looks quite nice, especially when you don't have it like at an angle. It looks quite nice, like quite matte like this. Like, this looks totally fine. Okay, this might seem silly. The worst, this part is, is as I said, it's borderline okay, right? It doesn't look like it on there. It looks really mucky on this, right? But this part here looks really bad. So I'm thinking of doing this. If I can sand this side down and then apply the, the satin to that, if this looks good, then I know the other side's gonna look good. So I'm gonna sand this side down. Okay. Now I've done now I've done circular oh now I've done circular patterns and maybe I've introduced a new variable. Oh man, dude, why do you do this to yourself? Let's have a look at what that looks like. Well it's really nice. This one's starting to get lines on it. That doesn't. Okay. Oh my god, I wish I could see the difference. All right, I'm gonna do it. Okay, it's obviously the right thing to do. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. Okay, carry on. Again, if I just, I don't know, gone on YouTube, figured this stuff out. Oh man, this looks nice. Holy sh! I don't think I need to do any varnish. I think this is it. I, it, it's lovely. It's really nice. This looks proper. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm gonna stand a bit more on the back here. And then I'm gonna gloss it. I'm gonna just see what it's like. It'd be very unblithe like of me not to. So. God, that's nice! Oh wow, wow, wow! It's 
and there was a baby's butt. Now that I'm seeing them side by side, one of the things that I'm seeing is if you look at how much matte finish there is there, there's very, it's very, very little. It's a very matte look to it. And when I take this one, right before I'm going to put the, the semi-gloss on it, has also got a matte finish and I'm thinking that that's actually well it's it's closer than it will be if I was to add on that see look how um, kind of colder that one looks and that might just be stuff over time but it's funny because when I took the paint with me it did look much closer to that than that this looks much warmer and um, this looks much more beigey and warm and um, you know, obviously when I put it up there, it's gonna be a lot brighter than the top part. Even though if I give the top part a clean, it won't it won't miraculously come up to that color. So that that's a bit of a thing. But you know what? I'm actually somehow okay with it. I'm gonna be getting my screen printing kits. The next thing I've gotta do is get the graphics done. Then when the graphics done, then I screen print it. Um, and then after I've screen printed it, then I put the things through. Then I get the nut dressing on, then I put the screws in, and I put the latches in, and the springs in, and everything. You know, or um, I could do it backwards and just do everything now, and then screen print it later. Which would obviously be really silly. Holes, let's make them. That's for that side, let's do the other side. These are the 3D hinges that I printed. Not so easy to say. And if you keep an eye open, you'll see that they slowly evolve over time. As the first ones I made broke easily and I had to make them into something that actually, you know, functions. Oh, I see you out there in internet land and cassette tape land. I see you judging me. Why didn't he have a bench? Why didn't he have proper tools? Why didn't he slow down and do things properly? Because if I slowed down and did things properly, I wouldn't get anything done. That's kind of not me. So, these holes correspond to the holes from where this panel actually came from on the original MFX donor machine. This is from the original machine. So I'm actually gonna fill up these holes with some little screws. They're not countersunk, but they're little hex heads and they'll look quite nice because they're gonna be kind of like a little bigger version of those. All right. Oh yeah. Hi, future Chris here. So, it's at this point that I realized I made my CMI Series 2X color, and not Series 3 color. Hmm. Now, the only thing I haven't taken into consideration is the fact that this door is a millimeter thicker, thinner which makes it thinner and, as you'll see, bendier. All right. Wow. We're getting there. Wow, wow, wow. All righty, I'm here with the, um, with probably what is gonna be the last thing to arrive for this machine. You are so wrong. Um, the first thing that came from the UK was the actual box. It lived in the box. And the last thing are um, the, the nut shrouds for the front panel. All right, let me, what are those nut shrouds? Let me show you. Front panel, very carefully over here. These guys right here. Now what's funny is the color that we've got, that, that I've painted is a little bit brighter, but I found also if I take off this nut shroud, See how light it is and clean underneath? So I've got a feeling that if I did actually clean this board, which I'm not going to do, I want to leave it as it is, but I am going to clean that part and it might make it just slightly closer, who knows? But it is an interesting, this has got this weird shade of green going on, which is odd. So I'm now going to open this up and let's see what's inside. 
I'm hoping they're the right thing. This might be uh, all the wrong thing. To the best of my ability, I ordered the right thing. <laughs> yes, they are the right thing. Look at these little beauties. Okay, let's open one up. And let's see what it looks like. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> it's the small things in life. It's the details that matter. Okay, so here's Steve's. And mine's is shiny and clean. Look, but it's exactly the right thing. So, ooh, you know what I can do? Oh, 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 oh. I've actually got, look, so, here, look, come down here. So I've actually got this, um, you know, in this stage, I know the next thing that I've got to do is um, do the screen printing and then um, I'm going to do a satin kind of gloss, well not satin, not gloss, but a satin kind of covering to seal it. But this is it. Are you ready? Okay. Let's see what it's like. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm trying not to scrape but I don't want to scrape the paint because it's not uh, protected in any way right now. It's just there. All right. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, sh Nikes. It is now starting to look like a proper CMI. Good grief. This isn't protected at all. It's just the matte paint. So I've got to be super careful. It's probably very easy to, to scratch and the like. Wow, 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 wow. All right. Okay, we are one step closer to it being the front plate. <laughs> right, okay, hang on. Let me move all this stuff. I know this is daft, it doesn't make any sense, but let's just have a quick look. So let's move this out of the way. Is there one more in there? There is plenty more. All right. And now, you ready? Wow, 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 wow. Why is this so incredible? It's because it is, okay. Look! <laughs> oh, man! Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, and I know this is that. I'm gonna have to put the other ones on too. It's just got to be done. These are 787-4808s from the United Kingdom. Did I get spare? Or did I just get exact, the exact amount? I'm not doing them tight at all, I'm just doing it loose. Just to... <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> I'm not, as I said, I'm not screwed them on tight yet. I don't want to scratch the thingy, but this... It's getting so close. So now the next thing I need to do is do the silk screen printing of the graphics and then um, spray it so it's sealed. Then I can put these on and then we fit it. Okay. So we've now got this plate made, right? And it is from the original metal work that is from the actual machine, from the old donor machine. I wanted to use, I was making a, it was gonna be a test plate, but I realized, no, I'm gonna use the actual machine. So we've now got this thing, which is just wonderful, okay? And I measured out everything and got the holes done properly. But now what we need, if we look at Steve's real plate, um, you can see now it has got all those uh, lovely um, markings on there, okay? What you can also see is it's actually way, way cleaner underneath where I've taken the nut dressings off from the circuit board right here. The circuit board that goes in the back, like this. Okay, so, um, but 
Um, the kits that you can get um, with availability online, and I've, I've checked a whole bunch of different, the art stores around here, they only do these screen printing kits to a uh, to letter size. A4 would be better, but still legal size would maybe cover it, but you don't get them. They do them this size. When you buy a bigger kit, they give you other things, but the ones that work with the light are generally cut to this size, which is a bummer. So what I'm having to do is kind of rethink about how I'm gonna grab the graphics and remake this template. I've got the logo here, like the official proper logo, and I've looked at that, that looks like Helvetica. This looks like some condensed font. I'm not sure exactly, but I'll figure it out. But I've got to somehow grab this to size and scale this inside some vector drawing program. Um, the, so, but, you know, I have to move everything along and then really see if it's going to make a difference or look crappy or not. And if it doesn't look good, I'm going to have to find a different way of getting this to the proper size. I'm thinking that if that's where the paper goes, that having the logo there and this being a bit shorter will, will be fine. Okay? So, um, the only thing is, is um, I've tried taking pictures of this with a longer lens and it doesn't look good. Um, and. Um, it, it, they always, they've always got like a distortion thing, even long. And I've tried scanning it in a scanner, but because this plate is bigger than the scanning area, it's always lifted off and it never goes flat and it's never in focus. You know, I wish there was a way of getting an undistorted um, angle on it. Hey, you know the, uh, I, you know the, there's the PDF scanner apps? You, um, what's it called? The, the, um, this built in now actually, isn't it? Wait a minute. All right, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it with the This is not gonna work. Um, scan documents You have got to be joking Look <laughs> No way I only thought about this as I'm recording this thing. That's gonna be amazing. You've got the outline of the actual thing, and it, it's made it all com Look, it looks like this is a little seat. Oh, hang on. Let me see. <laughs> Let me uh, just uh, done that and um, save. Is that what you do? I, I actually use this thing. Save? That's it. Okay. Wow. So if I go like that, Oh no, I need to do it like this. It looks like a little CMI with- oh, come on! Ta-da! Look at that! Oh, I need to actually save it out as a picture or something, or can't- how can- how do I do this? Um, export. That is crazy! Okay, I thought I was gonna have an issue getting this done. Um, I don't know if you can see this. It just looks perfect! Wow, wow, wow! Okay, so now what I need to do, I, I, wow, all I need to do now is take this and get it into a, um, I can't use it like that, can I? Can I? No, it's actually not quite high resolution enough for printing. Actually, it's probably fine. If I did a contrast on that, it'd probably be fine. No, I want to rebuild the graphics so that it's super clean. This could be at an angle and not exactly quite right. So. Um, let's jump into a wow, this is amazing. Uh, let's jump into a graphics program and, and then design it around the eight of the standard size picture. And uh, let's see what that looks like. Wow. Why didn't I think of that before? All right, we got a lot done. More than I thought we would, but less than we should have. Hey, that's typically my life. All right, so. Uh, the plate is really coming along. It's looking really like a good little plate now. So the next step is to start working on the graphics and making sure those are right and figuring out this whole screen printing thing. All right, see you in the next one.